So today we have some 280 amp hour prismatic cells manufactured by Rupu. This is their REPT brand. They were provided by Sunfun Kits and Sunfun Kits is stocking these cells. We are going to see how good they are. And I've already torn into one box. They come with bus bars. Let's take a look at these. Uh, so two, uh, I'm assuming these are going to be copper and then plated bus bars and nuts. They comes with both lock nuts with a nylon insert. So these are vibration resistant nuts. They won't loosen up. It also comes with a serrated nut. So I guess you can determine and use whichever one you want. Uh, the serrated ones tend to bite in a little bit better and give you more electrical contact area. Whereas the nylon nuts are going to not loosen up. You choose the one that works best for you. All right, so I've already been in this box. I got one cell out already. Uh, I'd like to show you how well these are packed. Very, very thick foam. The plastic corners on these boxes. These are 100% new EV and ESS. So that's electric vehicle and energy storage grade cells. Oh boy, they are in there. We're going to use our little puller. <laughs> All right, there she is. Let's bring her over here to the bench and take a look. I've already got one over here charging up and uh, it's been charging up overnight. And I've put in, let's see, 168 amp hours. And the voltage right now is currently at 3.53. So it's really close. This actually will probably be fully charged very soon. It's a little cold in here, and I plan to do a discharge test on this cell. And that's why I've got this heater running here, and I've also got another heater running in here to kind of warm up this room. I want it to be in the 70s, and right now we're looking at 60. So I want to get into the 70s before we do a discharge test. That's important when you're doing a discharge test, because if your batteries are too cold, they're not going to provide as much capacity. So you need to be in in 70s batteries. Your batteries like to be the temperature that you like to be. So keep that in mind. If you're uncomfortable, your batteries are gonna be uncomfortable. So let's take a look here. There we go, REPT 280. That's a 280 amp hour cell. It shows the capacity that this cell was uh, tested at. That capacity is going to be based off of their standard test. So you have to look at the spec sheet uh, to see. And I had to translate it from Chinese to English. So if we look here, uh, nominal capacity is 280 amp hours at 0.5 C room temperature. Okay? So like I said, we need to get these cells comfortable. We really do need to pull a 0.5 C to get the accurate uh, capacity of these cells. However, I'm not going to be able to do that on one cell because the equipment I've got uh, is only going to allow me to pull maybe 25 amps from this cell and a 0.5 C on this cell would be 140 amps. So I fully expect uh, uh, this capacity value that they've printed on the cell to differ from the capacity that that I test at. But I fully expect to eat, nonetheless test above 280 amp hours. Uh, so going back to the spec sheet, uh, standard discharge current, they say 140 amps. Uh, maximum continuous discharge current, you can do 280 amps. So ideally you want to do 140 amps or less but you can do 280, that's fine. You may act, you know, you may wear your batteries out faster, but you can do uh, 280. Uh, the peak discharge is 560 amps. And I think this says at 30, for 30 seconds, I believe. Uh, standard charging current, again, is 140, just like the discharge. 
Uh, maximum continuous charging current is 280. The peak charge current is 420. So you can charge at 420 amps. And I believe this is saying at for 10 seconds. I don't see where it says in here, but everywhere else I read these things have 6,000 cycle lives. <laughs> Amazing. So you can charge and discharge these things 6,000 times. Another thing to note too when uh, uh, doing a discharge test on these batteries, the manufacturer actually tells you the exact procedure to test them. The temperatures, how to charge them up, how long to let them set and rest, and then how much current to discharge them at. They give you the, the exact specifications that they use to test the capacity of these cells, and that's what's going to be on this label right here. So if you're not doing exactly what they're saying, you won't match exactly those numbers. Uh, okay, let's, gra let's grab the other ones. Let's get the other ones out. All right, so there's the rest of them. We've got the one over here charging, but these cells aren't going to be bloated, used. I expect these to be perfectly flat. Let's take a look. No gaps between. When you get uh, used or grade B cells from China, these things are going to have gaps because they're going to be bloated and swollen and uh, that means you've gotten sales that are kind of not so great up here on the top we've got their, their original QR code sorry this camera can't really focus on that there's another QR sticker code I'm not sure what uh, purpose of, of that is and then the Sunfun kits warranty st sticker or genuine product sticker but uh, yeah these are pristine cells as always no dents anywhere <clears throat> yep, everything's great all right guys so we're gonna let this finish charging like I said we're, we're really close and whenever it fully charges we've got everything See, we're at 62 now, that's good. We got everything in the right temperature range. We're gonna do a discharge test. So I'll be back when that is ready. Alrighty now. Uh, we have completed charging this. We put in 190.8 amp hours. I'm gonna run the charge one more time just to make sure we've got every bit of power in there that it can hold as soon as this stops I'm gonna hook it up to this and I'll well oh, there it is now it's stopped so that's fully charged so I'm gonna hook it up to the discharge tester and I'll be right back all right you guys it's completed charging and I've got it hooked up to the discharge tester I'm gonna record it on a time lapse this is going to take like 11 to 12 hours, <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and record the whole thing and then uh, probably have to edit it down. Let's start it. There we go. We're pulling 25 amps, is or 25.8 amps is as high as we'll go, about 89, 90 watts. Um, it's going to discharge down to 2.4 volts and then stop. As you can see here, uh, we are in the 70s, so all should be good. I'm going I'm to let that run and I'll be back in about 12 hours.
All right, you guys, the test completed. It is the next morning. I did not want to stay up all night. But um, we got 951.2 watt hours and then 292 amp hours. Looks like it uh, took about 11 hours and 18 minutes. So that differs slightly from what's on the label. Uh, but that's mainly because I'm not testing it exactly the same way that they tested it at the factory. Uh, I would have to test it at a 0.5C rate. And I don't have the equipment to pull 140 amps from a single 3.2 volt cell. But anyways, nonetheless, it exceeded the rated capacity of the cell. So all is good. These are great cells. That's a very nice... Um, test result. Now uh, Sunfun Kits is going to be offering a more affordable kit with these cells included and I think it's going to be somewhere around 1100 or maybe even 1050 uh, with the uh, discounts. So keep an eye out if you're looking to buy one of these complete kits that would be the time to do it. Use my discount code BMC if you buy anything from these guys, and that's going to save you money. All right, so uh, I think that's going to be it for the video, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.